Today, we will measure the speed of light with a bar of chocolate, a microwave oven, a ruler, and a little bit of math. To measure the speed of light, what we do is we put a solid bar of chocolate into the microwave, but we don't rotate it. We keep it steady, still, so that those troughs and peaks can be seen. Once we know the distance between the troughs and the peaks, we can multiply that by the frequency of the microwave, 2,450 megahertz. Multiply it by two, because we want the wavelength between each peak, not the peak in the trough. And that way, you get the speed of light, at least in theory. You take your ordinary bar of chocolate, you open your ordinary microwave, you put your ordinary bar of chocolate in there. We're gonna do 20 seconds. The chocolate is being heated, but it's not moving. We open again, and you can now see small bubbles that indicate the hot spots in the chocolate. If you measure these, the distance between these hot spots is about six centimeters. Like I said, you multiply that by two, six times two is 12 and you multiply that by the megahertz of the microwave, 2,450 megahertz, which translates to about 2.5 billion cycles a second. You multiply that together, you get 29.4 billion centimeters per second, which is roughly the speed of light, it's within 2%. So we've proven speed of light with a bar of chocolate and wireds incomparable but flawed microwave.